Président, veuillez vous asseoir. ผมนะประกาศมันต่อก็จะมาการในเตปที่สัมภาระให้มนต์ we received an information Nous from the Wisu via email the, at noon time today. The email to notify the chamber that through TCP 869 has health issues. And also, the civil party wishes to forfeit the status as a civil party in this case. And I'd like to hear clarification from the lead co-lawyers for civil parties about the forfeiture of this civil party status so that we can arrange the remaining time to hear witnesses and civil parties for next week. Pour entendre les témoins et parties civiles la semaine prochaine. Maître Pic Ang. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and uh, parties. Madame, Messieurs les juges. As uh, Mr. President has indicated, the uh, civil party to TCCP 869 has uh, some health issues. Souffre de problèmes de santé. And after the civil party uh, met with the civil party lawyer. Civil a rencontré son avocat. It seems that the civil party does not wish to testify in this courtroom amongst the, the crowd. Dans le this au civil, civil party does seem to have some trauma in facing a large crowd of people. And due to this nature, this civil party does not wish to appear before your honor's chamber. We actually tried to contact uh, this civil party uh, for further information via telephone. However, the phone was not answered. And and we are not in a position to Et compel the civil party to testify before your honors. President, what about the information Et that the civil party wishes to forfeit the civil party's status? Uh, do you have any clear or better information regarding this matter? With the information provided to us by the uh, lawyer for this civil party, and also through the information that uh, we obtained from uh, WISU, the information is consistent that this civil party wishes not to appear before your honor's chamber. President, However, does the civil party explicitly uh, mention the intention to forfeit the civil party's status? But, um, yes, that is correct. The civil party does not uh, inform us expressly about the forfeiture of uh, the civil party status. The civil party only mentions that uh, he doesn't want to appear before your chamber. President, thank you. And I'd like to hand the floor Président, now to Judge Fens. Two comments, one question. Uh, first of all, even if the civil party status is withdrawn or the application is withdrawn, this person could still be called as a witness. This is a person who has been requested by the prosecutors. 
So we have an issue here. Just saying I don't want to come will not cut it. I've, I've just got the the uh, medical uh, the statement from the doctor, which I'm not going into details, but in effect says she's capable to testify here. Uh, may I ask for more information on, on this issue in the light of what I just said? Maybe I don't get all the questions uh, from you, uh, Judge Fens. However, uh, the confirmation that we received from the civil party La partie civile is that nous a dit et confirmé. the civil party does not intend uh, to testify uh, before uh, the chamber. However, the civil party does not explicitly express the uh, intention to withdraw the civil party's status from this case. Have the colleague lawyers informed the civil party who would be a witness if she is called in case she withdraws her status that she has an obligation to appear before the chamber once she is summoned? If this person is to appear as a witness, she will be obliged to do it. Has that been expressed clearly? But Your Honor, in fact, uh, I tried to make a phone call Madame le juge, to the chair of this civil party. However, the phone was not answered. For that reason, I do not have any further information to provide you. À vous and before we go ahead, question to the prosecutor who requested this person. Do you uphold your request to hear this person? Maintenez-vous cette demande. Merci, Madame la Juge. Thank you. J'ai très peu d'éléments en main pour faire valoir notre opinion. Il est vrai. Nous avons demandé que cette partie civile comparaisse. J'entends qu'elle souffre de traumatisme. Et donc, je m'entendrai la décision de la Chambre. Il semble qu'il y a deux niveaux. Le niveau physique que les médecins, j'imagine, ont pu évaluer. S'ils considèrent qu'elle est apte à venir témoigner, c'est évidemment une chose. Mais j'entends parler de traumatisme. Le traumatisme psychologique pourrait être réactivé en cas d'audition. Je pense qu'il faut en tenir compte. Nous ne sommes pas là non plus pour créer davantage de traumatisme auprès des gens. Um, voilà, une autre question, peut-être qu'on y reviendra après, mais je constate aussi qu'il y a une succession soit de décès, soit de personnes appelées à témoigner concernant la province de Prévègne. Et donc, cela nous inquiète parce que nous pensons qu'il faudrait alors pouvoir les remplacer. Il y a deux personnes auxquelles je pense, deux TCW 843 et deux TCW 957 qui figurent sur notre liste de témoins proposés pour la province de Prévin et qui pourrait, au cas où votre décision serait de ne pas appeler cette partie civile, également être appelée à témoigner. Voilà notre position. Le président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Président. La crainte qui semble faire jour, c'est celle d'une d'un traumatisme qui serait à nouveau suscité par la comparution de cette partie civile à l'audience. Mais est-ce que les convocats principaux pour les parties civiles peuvent nous dire si cette partie civile a été informée de l'existence d'organisations telles que PIO et est-ce qu'un lien a été fait avec le TPO est-ce qu'éventuellement le TPO pourrait donner un petit peu aussi d'informations en retour quant à l'état véritable de cette partie civile Parce que je pense que si cette organisation existe, c'est justement pour apporter ce type de support 
it is precisely to provide such counseling and support to several parties. Any person appearing before this chamber peut être traumatisé. can be traumatized. Donc, la simple possibilité n'est so pas the simple la simple possibility that a person may Après, suffer from a trauma is not a reason for plus. us not to call that person. We need to know a lot more than what you've just told us. Maître um, Picard. Your Honor, uh, in fact, uh, her civil party lawyer, Monsieur as well as uh, we, the LITCO uh, lawyers nous, for civil parties, pour pour les parties civiles, made uh, several arrangements to meet with all the civil parties, including this uh, specific civil party, and actually refer them to les uh, TTO. If uh, they uh, wish to, avec la TPO aussi, non, and le in last October, ça, un, en October uh, dernier, so party lawyer uh, actually met her uh, twice. La rencontré deux fois. To discuss about uh, her intention to testify uh, before the chamber. De the civil party still insist uh, not uh, to. A testify insister before your honors ne souhaite pas déposer devant la chambre so for that reason she is already familiar with the uh, support elle connaît uh, déjà that can be provided by the TPO since the arrangement has been made car nous avions fait le nécessaire pour however the latest information that we received from her is that she still wishes not to testify before the chamber souhaite ne pas déposer devant la chambre D'accord, j'entends bien cela, mais je n'ai toujours pas compris well, si l'avocat de cette partie that, civile a fait la, la mise en contact avec le TPO ou pas. Je comprends que vous l'avez essayé de la rencontrer au mois d'octobre, si j'ai compris, ou un petit peu avant, je ne sais pas, mais qu'en est-il Il ne mais... suffit pas de dire « je ne veux pas venir euh, témoigner », d'autant plus qu'en l'espèce, nous avons un, un certificat médical qu'elle dit qu'elle peut as we have a medical certificate stating that that person can ici, testify. Euh, face à un problème. So we are facing a problem here. Un complément de réponse, Monsieur le Président. Just some complimentary information, Madame, Messieurs de la Chambre, nous avons eu cette information comme vous aujourd'hui. Notre consoeur Tchad Vanini, qui est le conseil de cette partie civile, n'est pas présente aujourd'hui. Donc, les informations dont nous disposons sont extrêmement limitées dans la mesure où mon collègue Hank Pic a essayé de joindre directement la partie civile par téléphone à l'heure du déjeuner et que nous ne sommes pas parvenus à entrer en contact avec elle. Donc, bien évidemment, les, les informations dont nous pouvons, Quite obviously, the information euh, que nous pouvons partager cet après-midi sont limitées. Si la demande de la Chambre est limited, de nous assurer qu'il y a bien eu un contact avec TPO et que nous puissions éventuellement faire un rapport à la Chambre quant à un éventuel soutien de TPO pour le témoignage de cette partie civile, c'est quelque chose que nous pouvons faire la semaine prochaine dès que nous pourrons discuter avec l'avocat des parties civiles et rentrer en contact directement avec la partie civile. En l'état, nous avons des informations extrêmement limitées et donc il nous est très difficile de répondre à votre question, Monsieur le juge, même si nous en comprenons bien évidemment le fondement. Le président. President, thank you for your comments and observations. And there is also a, uh, another uh, matter. Non, un autre point nous occupe. That is, in fact, uh, a, a witness to TCW848 was scheduled to testify today. However, due to the, uh, the mother of the witness passed away, the, the witness was not possible to testify. And uh, in fact, we have other two witnesses that we uh, we are going to uh, schedule Nous to hear. Donc, uh, that is uh, eight, four, six, and one thousand. 
de TCW 846 et de TCW 1000 qui ont la compréhension avec des décisions orales et j'aimerais savoir de la part des partis can provide further uh, observations si or comments to hear these two uh, witnesses. That is, we may schedule to hear them, dit, nous, in fact, uh, in the first week of January 2016. However, due to the changes in the circumstance, mm, I'd like to hear from the deputy co-prosecutor if we are able to hear the testimonies of these two witnesses next week. If there is a possibility to do that, and if we uh, cannot si uh, locate other, or if si we cannot uh, schedule other uh, witnesses, the critical prosecutor can do a shed light on that. Vous vous Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais essayer, mais je Thank ne you, pense Mr. pas que j'ai sous les try, yeux but I do not think le nom correspondant à de TCW 1000. Donc ça me met dans une position un peu inconfortable pour répondre à la deuxième partie de votre question. S'agissant de deux TCW 846, nous n'avons pas d'objection à ce qu'ils soient entendus la semaine prochaine, même, même tôt dans la semaine. Il me semble qu'il y a également deux TCW 820 qui est encore sur cette liste. Et qui, je crois, devait comparaître, si je ne me trompe pas, la semaine prochaine. Nous n'avons pas non plus d'objection à ce que ce soit le cas. Alors, je ne sais pas si quelqu'un peut me fournir le nom par écrit, peut-être bien à M. Lucier de, TC, de TCW 1000 pour que je me rende compte de la complexité peut-être de son témoignage. Le président. Uh, Court officer, please uh, take the Lui, document from the judge friend for the deputy co-prosecutor. I've circled the person. La juge Fence, j'ai encerclé le nom. Bon, S'agissant d'un témoin qui était prévu euh, en janvier, euh, s'il doit témoigner la semaine prochaine, euh, nous demanderions qu'il puisse le faire vers la fin de la semaine plutôt qu'au début. Euh, Peut-être à partir de mercredi, euh, si c'était possible, de manière à ce que nous puissions préparer, nous préparer par rapport à cela. Merci. Resident, uh, thank you. Merci donc. And uh, let's call on the civil party. Civil party. Civil party. Do you have any comments that you wish to make regarding the intention by uh, the chamber to hear de chambre, the two witnesses that we actually originally scheduled uh, for the first week of January 2016? However, we intend to hear these two witnesses next week. For the lead co-lawyers for civil parties, we do not have any objection to these two witnesses. President, and I'd like to hear comments from the defense team first, the defense team for Nunchir. I believe if I'm not mistaken, that in relation to TCW 1000, we um, submitted that he uh, should be heard once um, the investigation in the other case is over. Um, that was for all kinds of other reasons, but also, of course, for reasons of complexity. Um, so in that regard, if he is going to be summoned for next week, we would, we, we would agree with the prosecution that he should not be summoned for next week. And maybe even in such a way that he, um, aussi, I don't know if he's scheduled for one day je ne sais pas or si cette for, personne, uh, une journée qui avait été prévue, for two days. Deux jours. If it's for two days, then maybe one day also in January. Il faut um, bon aussi avoir une journée so en these will be our observations. Donc voilà, c'est notre observation sur ce sujet.
Merci, Monsieur le Président. En ce qui concerne 2TC, 1W846, nous n'avons pas de difficulté. En revanche, pour 2TCW1000, qui est un témoin qui a été appelé à comparaître à la suite d'une demande 87.4 des procureurs récentes, nous nous avons à avoir un problème de préparation. Et si la Chambre souhaite anticiper son témoignage par rapport à notre programme de préparation, nous serons en difficulté du côté de la Défense. Donc nous demanderons s'il doit comparaître en fin de semaine que l'on puisse poursuivre son témoignage début janvier. Peut-être, pour être complète, je rappelle que nous essayons toujours d'être disponibles et de nous adapter aux différents changements. Nous savons quelles sont les difficultés que peuvent rencontrer, que peut rencontrer pardon, WESU et les difficultés de programmation à l'avance. Mais là, c'est vrai que pour ce segment, on a eu beaucoup de changements et que dans notre manière de fonctionner, dans la mesure où nous sommes toujours les mêmes à l'audience, ça devient très compliqué de pouvoir préparer adéquatement notre défense, notamment pour un témoin qui ne, que nous ne connaissions pas euh, avant, enfin dans le cadre de notre procédure 02. Donc euh, l'admission la, euh, récente, euh, enfin la, la, la décision de sa comparution étant récente, nous vous demandons d'en tenir compte. President, thank you for all the, your comments and Merci the questions made et pour vos observations. by all the parties, as well as uh, that of Council Copper in hearing testimony of uh, the witness to TCW 1000. Of we did not foresee to hear this witness that uh, soon, ce témoin si so that parties would have uh, sufficient time to Et prepare uh, to question the uh, witnesses. And for that reason, that we take this uh, opportunity this uh, afternoon voilà to hear comments uh, from all the parties. Observations des parties à ce sujet. And of course, the parties will be notified uh, this afternoon nous les by parties email cet par on the uh, scheduling and the appearing of a witness of uh, one to CW uh, 1000. Let me uh, resume our hearing of testimony of this uh, witness. From what I heard before the break, the deputy co-prosecutor said the political lawyers for civil parties do not have any questions to put to this witness. But um, that is correct, Mr. President. We do not have any questions for this witness. Le président. And I notice the deputy co-prosecutor is on his feet. You may proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, c'est une petite... Yes. Précision concernant les like biographies de détenus qui se trouvent au dossier. Il s'agit donc de biographies, je crois que ça a été établi dans l'autre dossier, qui était établi à l'entrée S21 et qui ont un format standard qui a été authentifié par PNGQ alias Deutsch et par Susti. Par ailleurs, le nom du frère de... Madame le témoin se trouve sur la liste révisée de S21 fournie par le bureau des coprocureurs. C'est le document E3 par 3, 4, 2, au numéro 5, 5, 7, 5. Et nous pourrons fournir d'autres renseignements complémentaires par la suite, si cela vous convient. Le Thank you président. for the information. Merci. And de I'd like now to hand the floor first uh, to the defense team for anyone to put Louis questions to this witness. You may proceed, counsel. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Good afternoon, um, Madam Witness. Madame I would like to ask you a few questions. Question um, just before the break, Avant you were asked a question about uh, someone with the name uh, Sopal, uh, 
nomme du district nom de chief son of the district that you were living chef in. du district dans lequel vous viviez. <coughs> Now I realize that you don't know him very well. Je sais que vous ne le connaissez pas. But I would bien. like to to read an excerpt from um, a witness to you, a witness who lived in the same district, the same commune, but a different village. Uh, and then I would like to ask your reaction in, in relation uh, to Dasso Pal. Uh, uh, President, this is E3 slash 7816. Khmer um, page ERN 007274. Um, French 00339874754 English 00292839 um, This witness um, says, says the following In 1976 The men in my village, um, including my siblings and my father, were arrested by the district soldiers because the villagers had joined with the Khmer Sar, the white Khmer. The Khmer Sar were led by Sopal, the secretary of Rim Hik district, Swaying province. For this reason, the district secretary's group were arrested. The group du secrétaire du district a été arrêté. Have you ever heard Tassopal being um, linked or connected to something called the Khmer Sar? No, I did not know anything about this. No, je I never rien. heard about the Khmer Sar. Very well, thank you, uh, Madam Witness. Merci. Um, <coughs> another question that I have is in relation to certain things you said in your DC CAM statement. Um, when you were living in um, your village, do you recall um, hearing um, bombs and grenades, the sound of bombs and grenades um, fired from Um, the border fired by uh, the Vietnamese army. Lancé par l'armée vietnamienne. Monsieur le Président. Mr. President. Uh, Peut-être que la question serait plus claire si on Perhaps pouvait parler de la période, parce que là, uh, s'agit-il du conflit entre le camp Pucha démocratique et le Vietnam ou s'agit-il de la période précédente Ce n'est pas très clair. Je peux prêter à confusion, je pense. Referring to any specific period, um, but I'm happy to, to broaden the question so that all periods relevant to this case are in, uh, included. Madam Witness, do you ever recall between 1970 and 1979 sound of shelling, sounds of grenades being fired by the Vietnamese army um, into Cambodian territory? Yes, I heard. Oui, j'en ai entendu. Do you, do you recall which years vous souvenez -vous or which quel year à quelle you année, heard that? Années, vous les avez entendu? Réponse. I cannot recall the year. Je ne me souviens pas de I heard the uh, bombardment or the shelling the by the June, but I did not know the year. Do you know whether Question. it was before or after um, the um, the the Khmer Rouge took over? The Khmer Rouge took over. The Khmer Rouge took over. The Khmer Rouge took over. The Khmer Rouge took 
réponse C'était avant. Les bombardements et les tirs d'artillerie ont eu lieu avant. Have you also Question. heard bombs and grenades and shelling in the period that your brother um, was possibly sent to Kampong Chinang airfield? Did you hear the sounds of war in 78? de Kampong Chinang. Donc, avez-vous entendu ces bruits de guerre en 1978? Yes, I did. Oui. And, and uh, would you be able uh, to describe what you heard, um, how long it took, um, where did it come from? Okay, could you give us a little, give us some details as to what you heard in 1978? I heard the uh, shellings and the bombardment from the, the east direction coming les from the Yun side. However, I don't know anything else. How were you Question. able to determine that uh, the shelling was coming from the direction um, from Vietnam into the east or so into Vietnam Cambodia? How, how did you know? How were you able to determine this? Comment avez Because Réponse. I heard it coming from that direction, from the eastern uh, direction, and I did not know whether uh, they were that of uh, the uh, Vietnamese. Je pas si um, uh, do you, you remember how long the shelling uh, from the Yun uh, uh, went on? How, how long did you hear the de sounds of? Duré? Grenades exploding, que bombs exploding. Pendant combien de temps vous entendiez des bruits d'explosion de grenades d'autobus? It uh, lasted uh, several months. C'était pendant plusieurs mois. And people had to flee. Les gens ont dû s'enfuir. Do you remember Question. whether many people were forced to flee? Vous souvenez-vous si beaucoup de gens ont dû fuir? From your village? Or from village, other villages in your communal district? Dans d'autres villages de votre commune et de votre district. There were Réponse. many people who were fleeing from Beaucoup the shelling and the area of bombardment. Actually, we went through the western side of the river. Et nous sommes allés à l'ouest de la rivière. Do you remember once um, running away vous souvenez -vous um, from your work in a mobile unit where you were um, harvesting rice, running away from the shelling of the Yun? Do you recall that moment or those moments? No, I don't really recall that. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas vraiment. I cannot tell you which month or year it vous dire it en quel happened. mois, en quelle année cela s'est produit. Actually, at that time, we were harvesting rice uh, uh, near the eastern uh, part, that is near the uh, border dans la side. Est, donc près de la frontière. Let me read a, a small excerpt from what you told DC Cam. E3 slash seven five four five English ERN zero zero three three six four nine three zero 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 eight nine zero zero eight nine two zero five two zero 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 eight nine two zero five two zero 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 eight nine two zero 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 eight nine two zero 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 eight nine two zero 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 eight nine Yes, um, of course. Um, the Khmer ERN is in document E3 slash 7545 0008920. 
French 0077-5800 in English 0033-64934. You were talking about your work, um, Madam Witness, and you said, um, I was in the mobile unit and worked on rice fields, harvesting rice, and my husband did a different job. I remembered, I ran away when Yoon bombed. Do you remember once running away when the Yoon bombed? Yes, I remember. I fled from the east to the west because the bomb came from the direction of the east, so we fled to the west. And was it only you who ran away, or did everyone from the mobile unit run away from uh, the bombing? Yeah, every one of us, everyone fled oui, from the bomb. A fui les bombes. It's the bombardment from the UN and the shelling. Les bombes et le pilonnage des UN. That day that you and all the other workers ran away from um, the bombs, do you remember uh, if anyone got injured or killed, anyone from the mobile unit? tué quelqu'un de l'unité mobile There was no one injured. Personne n'a été blessé. Everyone survived. Tout le monde a survécu. How long were you away from your work? Um, how long did your escape and uh, uh, last, when did you return um, again to work? Was that a long time or a short time? We, we, uh, after we spent two or three days and then we returned to our west. Um, when you and the other workers ran away from the Yoon bombs, um, was your brother um, involved in the battle with the Vietnamese troops, or, or wasn't he? Was he already sent to Kampong Chinang airfield? Can you recall? I did not know. Because we were at different locations. Parce que nous étions à un endroit différent, à des endroits différents. Do you remember seeing Question, troops from Cambodia, Cambodian troops? Troops from Democratic Cambodia shooting back uh, to Vietnam, shooting back grenades or using artillery to retaliate. I did not see it. I did not know where the Khmer Sai put they located their artillery. I saw only uh, the bomb coming from the direction of the east. Um, one witness who testified earlier um, was not from Svei Ring but from Prey Veng um, spoke about um, 
the time of Sao Pim, um, the affairs with Sao Pim or the matter of Sao Pim. Uh, does the name Sao Pim mean anything to you? I did not know. I had never heard of his name. I might have asked this question already in another way, but just to be sure, um, have you ever heard of civilians um, being injured by the bombing, um, not only in your mobile unit, but uh, people um, within the whole province, people that you knew? Have you ever heard of civilian casualties as a result of the Vietnamese bombing? Yes, there were some casualties. Réponse, oui, il y a eu des One victimes. or two each time. Une ou deux à chaque fois. Did, did you know these people? Question, connaissez-vous ces personnes? Ah. I did not know them. Réponse, non, je ne les connaissais pas. Call on, call, call. Because we were in different units, Parce so I did not know them. Donc je ne les pas. Uh, thank you, Madam Witness. Um, I'll move on to the next question. There's something that you told Madame the investigator of DCCAM, and I would like to ask some clarification because I'm not entirely sure if I understand what you said. E3 slash 7545, Mr. President. Um, Khmer, your N0008921. English 00336499 and French 00775810. Um, the question is um, about whether there were any Vietnamese people in the village. And then you say uh, no. But in 70, Mais en 1970, they, men and women, stayed here for about two to three days and then they proceeded to another place. Un um, but in 70, they stayed Mais here. Do you re did you refer to 1970 uh, when you gave that answer? In 1970, en 1970, Vietnamese people came to spend one or two days in the village and then they left. And I had no idea where they went to. And where did these Vietnamese people come from? From which part of the country? I saw them coming, coming from the direction of the east. Were they coming from Vietnam or were they coming from within uh, Cambodia to your village? I had no idea. I only saw them coming, but I did not know where they came from. Have you heard anything ever uh, about the treatment of Vietnamese people um, after uh, the coup d'état of Lon Nol and uh, in the subsequent years before 1975? Have you ever heard how Vietnamese people were treated between 1970 and 1975? I did not know. Réponse. I cannot je answer this pas. because I don't know. Um, that's no problem. 
uh, Madam Witness. Um, I have a few other questions that I would like to put to you, um, and that is, um, I understand from your testimony that you um, uh, were working in the rice fields and maybe also working at a dam, or at least that your husband worked at the dam. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. We were assigned to do it. So both children and adults have had to do it. And do you recall when you were assigned to work at the dam in your district? I could not recall the year. It was the 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 uh, dam was to the east of le my house, à de ma and I worked so hard over there. Et très dur Do you remember how long you worked at that dam? Pendant combien de temps vous avez travaillé à ce barrage? I spent about a year there. Passé à peu près une année and when I became sick, and then they let me malade, return. On m'a permis de revenir. And was your husband also working at that dam Question together with you? également à ce barrage avec vous? He did not go there with me. My husband was assigned to a different place to the east of Swahirian province. Um, before DC came, you gave um, testimony in relation to um, working times. Um, do you recall? Um, what in general the working times de were façon, in your uh, district? Until when, from when till when did de people have to work in your district? From 7 until 11. And then we had a break. And during the break we had a meeting and then we had lunch and a short rest and then we had to go back to work. And from when till when after the lunch break did you work? From 1 to 5 p.m. And did you ever work at night? Question et travaillez-vous jamais l'après-midi ou plutôt en soirée ou la nuit? No, I did not work at night. Réponse non, nous ne travaillions pas la nuit. Because I was a rather old, so they did not let me work at night. Um, were you at the time Question. after 75 um, considered to be a so called base person or a new person? De base ou une personne dite du peuple nouveau? I was a base people because it was, I remained at my village. I, did, I was not new. Demeurait dans mon village et je n'étais pas I nouvelle. Was what, I was part of the so-called base people. Du peuple de base. Were there any uh, new people, um, either in your village or in the mobile unit that you were working in? 
ou dans l'unité mobile dans laquelle vous travaillez. Yes, there were there were new people who were evicted from Phnom Penh and they joined our units. So base people and new people work together. And it, um, the base people and the new people have to work the same amount of hours per day, the same hours that you just described. So both base people and new people had to work from uh, 7 till 11 and from 1 to 5. Yes, it was the same oui, amount of time. Oui, c'était la même durée. From 7 to 11 and de then again from 1 to 5 p.m. de 13h à 17h. So in your district, uh, meaning your village donc, or within your mobile unit, no distinction was made mobile, um, between base people and new people when it would come to the amount of hours to work, correct? De la durée de travail, du temps de travail. C'est exact. Yes, there was no distinction between base people and new people when it comes to the amount of hours of working. How about um, the food rations? In your village or in your mobile unit, did new people and base people get the same amount of food? Yes, we received the amount food ration, each of us, regardless oui, of new or old or base people, uh, we received one bowl. And how about if a new person or a base person would get sick? Would a new person get the same kind of medicine as a base person would receive? Yes, uh, it, they received the same treatment, oui, they spent uh, time in the hospital. Am I correct when I say that in your village and in your mobile unit there was no difference in treatment between the new people and the base people? President, witness, please hold on. Please, the floor now is given to International Co-Deputy Prosecutor. I think that here, une objection. Objection. Il y a well, this is an objection, in fact, yes. Une conclusion qui est tirée, there is a conclusion that is drawn arbitrarily. The question was almost only médicaux. focused on parce que de là on peut parler du traitement, je ne sais pas ce que le témoin va comprendre exactement ce que veut dire Maître Coté, mais je pense qu'il essaie de lui faire dire quelque chose qu'il est en tête, mais il y a d'autres façons de traiter les gens que simplement sur base de la quantité de travail, des rations ou des soins médicaux. Il y a les questions de sécurité, etc. Donc je ne sais pas si cette question pourrait être reformulée de façon à ce qu'on ne tire pas une conclusion générale sur base d'éléments qui n'ont pas été déjà obtenus de témoins. Ou alors faire en sorte que les témoins comprennent exactement la portée de cette question. Ou alors faire en sorte que les témoins comprennent exactement la portée de cette question. I thought I had um, selected what seems to be the three most important subjects um, when it comes to treatment of people, but um, I'm, I'm happy to reformulate. Um, Madam Witness, have you ever noticed any difference in treatment, um, either in your village or in uh, your mobile unit, between um, new people and base people? 
Or was everybody treated the same? Yeah, was no different treatment. Both old and new uh, were received the same treatment. Um, did I hear you correctly this morning when you said um, that all villagers, all members of the mobile unit um, in your district were wearing the same black clothes? Yeah, that's correct because we were given only black clothes. It's khaki clothes which uh, were black. Do you remember when you got that set of black clothes? Um, you and the other villagers and the mobile unit? Was it from the very beginning up until the very end? Début et ça allait jusqu'à la fin. From the beginning, dès le début, there were they gave us only the black clothes. They did not give us any good clothes and we could not buy clothes anywhere because markets were closed and there were no money circulation at that time. Um, do you remember what year it was that you, um, when the cooperative was established and when the people in your village and your mobile unit started to eat um, communally? Do you remember when that was introduced, the eating communally and the cooperative? I could not recall the year when it happened. I did not thing about that because Je I was just an ordinary people. I did only what I was assigned to do. I understand. Um, Madam Witness, let me help you a little bit. In the very first um, answer of your uh, WRI E3-7796, you say, in 1976, there was a cooperative and the people ate communally and slept in their respective houses as usual. So is it, is it correct that in your district people started eating communally in 76? Yes. It was as uh, was uh, written there. It was probably in that year. And do you recall whether the, the communal eating lasted until the very end, until uh, beginning of '79? Yes, from that year until 1979, until the liberation that we started to eat at our own home. Um, earlier this afternoon, Madam Witness, you were asked a question about um, Buddha statutes. Uh, you spoke about the word destroyed. Um, have you actually seen forces or military or anybody um, physically destroy these statues? Have you seen the event that these statues were destroyed? Or is it something that you've heard or concluded?
I witnessed the destruction of the statue, but I did not know who committed it. So I had no idea who committed it. I saw only after it was destroyed. Um, did, did I hear correctly in, um, that you said in Khmer, uh, when you use the word destroy, Comtech? Um, use the word, um, Khmer word Comtech to describe the destruction of the Buddha, the statues? Yeah. Yes, it is as I have said. Um, my very last question, that is, and I'm returning now um, to the war with the Vietnamese. Um, I asked you about whether you knew any victims of the war. Um, what happened to your younger brother-in-law, Has Pum? À Raspoum, votre jeune euh, beau-frère. Il est allé à la frontière est. And I had no clear idea whether he was shot or he was injured by cell. I saw he was carried back. You saw he was carried in a bag because he was killed in combat? I think there might be a translation issue, actually, I thought I understood it too. Apparently, and I've just clarified, he, she said he was carried back, not in a bag. Is that correct? You said he was carried back. That's what I understand from the interpreter that has been said. Then, then, then obviously I will withdraw my question. Um, did you say, Madam Witness, that he was carried back? What, what did you mean when you said that? He was uh, carried in a hammock and then put him onto a truck and I had no idea where he was buried. I requested for his dead body to be buried at Chantrai Pagoda, but they refused. In your statement, you said that he was a Swairing province soldier. Uh, have you heard from his comrades um, how he was killed? Uh, what happened exactly? Have you ever heard a story about your brother-in-law? There were no any soldiers returning. So there was no one I could ask. Are you saying that they were all killed in the fighting in the fighting with the Vietnamese? All the comrades of your brother-in-law? Tous les camarades de votre beau-frère. Not all of them died, but they were sent to somewhere else. But I, but I saw no one among them return home. I saw only the dead body of my in-law, brother-in-law, who were carried back. Who was carried back?
One very last question, Mr. President, and I'm also done. Um, is it correct that um, your younger brother-in-law, Haspung, was killed uh, in mid-1978? Beau-frère cadet a été tué mi-1978. Yes, he died oui. in that year. Il est mort cette année -là. Thank you, Madam Witness. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm done. Maître Coppe, je vous remercie, Madame le témoin. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. J'en ai terminé. Le Président. Yes, please defend oui, counsel. You have the floor. Monsieur le Président, je voulais juste yes, informer Mr. la President, Chambre que je n'ai pas de questions pour Madame Le Témoin. Je pense que no pour la suite, vous witness. préférez avoir cette information maintenant. Le Président. President and Council Copper, you also concluded your question. Is that correct? Le président poursuit. The hearing of testimony of Aung San Suu Kyi is now concluded, and the chamber is grateful of your testimony, Madame Aung San Suu Kyi, as a witness today, and your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. You are now excused, and you may return to your home or wherever you wish to go to. And the chamber wishes you all the very best. Court officer, please cooperate with Wisu to make a transportation arrangement for witness Hong Kong Ian to return to her home or wherever she wishes to go to. And the hearing today is adjourned. And we will resume the proceeding on. Monday, 14 December 2015, Lundi. commencing from 9 o'clock in the Dès morning. And for the uh, Monday's proceedings, the chamber here, testimony of a witness, that is through TCW820. Security personnel, you are instructed to take both accused, Nuti and Kiss and Pond back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings on Monday, 14 December 2015, before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.